Hey guys, this is Jim Labuda here coming at you and today I want to talk to you about the golf swing of Bryson DeChambeau. Now, Bryson DeChambeau just recently won the 2018 Memorial Golf Tournament hosted by Jack Nicholas. but Bryson is known for being a scientist or a tinkerer on tour. Uh, Bryson is known right now for using his single length irons. All his irons are one length. They're all 37 and a half inches. No matter what golf club is, it is. Uh, but the other thing is that if you look at his wedges, all of his wedges actually have physics formulas stamped on the back of them. So my guess is that Bryson DeChambeau is going to be the only PGA Tour player that has physics formulas stamped onto the back of his wedges. So with all that science in the swing, does it really help Bryson out making a more efficient and sound golf swing? Well, let's take a look at it for a minute here. First thing we want to talk about is Bryson's setup. If you take a look at the way his feet are and the stance width that he has, he does not have a very wide stance. So his stance width is just a couple inches outside of each hip line, allowing him to effectively shift his weight properly in the golf swing. As he starts taking the club away, you can see that his right hip, let me draw a line there, the line on his right hip that we have here, doesn't re his hip doesn't really move off this line, which means that he's really kind of sitting into that side really nicely, really shifting that weight into the right side. However, here's the really big thing about Bryson's golf swing that I really love. As he starts coming down, into the downswing. Watch what happens with specifically his right foot and his hips. As he starts moving into the swing, the hips open up slightly. The right foot is still on the ground. His shoulders basically get back to square to the target. He's letting his arms release past his body, creating a ton of efficient club head speed and having a very, very efficient and effective golf swing. By not pushing off this right side, what he's doing is his right hip is not moving in towards the golf ball. If your right hip moves in towards the golf ball, a couple things are going to happen. Your spine angle is going to become more vertical, lifting your head up, causing a lot of inconsistent shots. You're also going to put a lot of undue stress on your lower back. And the other thing that's going to happen is by really pushing from the right side and letting that right foot come off the ground and really spinning that right hip really hard, the other thing it does is it drops your golf club inside the line or inside our, our swing plane line, and that's going to result in a lot of pushes out to the right side, a lot of high, weak right shots. So as we move forward in a swing here, again, let me put a circle around his right foot. And the club head speed that he generated, look how far past impact the club head is. And look at the right foot is still on the ground. It's still on the ground. Now it's finally starting to come up because the momentum and the inertia that the movement and the, the golf club and that this club head speed caused, all that momentum that he generated is what is pulling him into a full and complete follow through. Bryson is not using his right hip. He's not pushing off of his right side at all. He's not trying to artificially create club head speed by trying to really push off that right side or spin his hips, putting a lot of stress on his lower back. What he's doing is, again, with Bryson being the physicist and the scientist that he is, he is using the laws of physics and gravity to pull the golf club down into the back of the ball, creating a very efficient sound golf swing that's really, really actually very soft on his anatomy. God, Bryson's not going to run into a lot of back injuries, and I think he's really going to have a long, very successful career. Does he do things that are the norm with his golf clubs? No, not at all, but that's not always a bad thing. So if you want to become more consistent in your golf swing today, what can we learn from Bryson DeChambeau? The main thing we can learn is that club head speed is generated by a weight shift to the left side in the golf swing and then allowing our arms to release past our body 
And don't fight the laws of physics. Don't fight gravity. Let your golf club fall into the back of the ball. Let your arms release past your body. And let the momentum and inertia that was created by the club head pull you into a full extension and into a big follow-through. You'll hit the golf ball longer and straighter than you ever have before with less effort. Guys, as always, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure you click the like button below. Also, please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click the subscribe button below. Click the notifications button so you're notified anytime I upload a new video to this site. Also, make sure you leave any questions or comments in the box below, and I'll make sure I answer them as soon as I possibly can. Guys, as always, thanks for watching this. Always keep it in the fairway, and have yourself a great day.